The name of this tutorial is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.53 Beta Add-ons Tutorial. Blender 2.53 Beta was officially released today. You can download this, the first beta release of 2.5 at blender.org. The link is actually get 2.5 alpha. It's so new that they haven't changed the link or maybe they won't. Versions of 2.53 Beta can be downloaded for Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, Linux 32-bit and 64-bit, Mac OS X, and Solaris. As a beta version, the basic features should be in place, although bugs are still expected. There are many bug fixes, some reorganization of window choices, and some new features. You can read more about all the changes in Blender 2.5 at the blender.org development release log for it and I have the link. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about the new add-on repository which is a way of extending Blender functionality by adding Python scripts. A number of these scripts are shipped with 2.53 beta and they're documented online in the Blender 2.5 add-ons repository and I have the link for that. I'll show you where the add-on scripts are stored and how to install and run them. I will also show you how to edit the source code of the installed scripts, which are a great resource for learning how to write add-ons. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's the default scene, which hasn't changed. However, the toolbar has been reorganized from 2.52 alpha. There's a new origin button in the transform group that allows you to set the object origin. If you press the N key in the 3D viewport to bring up the properties window, you can see that the order of the panels has changed. If you played around with 2.52 alpha, you should discover that the changes are relatively straightforward. Let's get to the meat of this tutorial, add-ons. To find out what add-ons can be installed, click on the window type button at the bottom left corner of the 3D viewport and change to the user preferences menu. Click on the add-on section. The add-ons are grouped into different types, all, enable, disable, 3D view, add curve, add mesh, import, export, mesh, object and render. When Blender 2.53 beta is installed, all the add-ons are disabled. You enable just the ones you need from this window. Let's enable the first add-on. They're in alphabetical order. Align tools. By clicking on the right arrow, you expand the entry. The short description of this add-on tells you that this add-on aligns selected objects to the active object. It also tells you where the add-on will be installed. In this case, the tool shelf as well as the author and version number. For more detailed documentation, you can click on the link to the wiki page. Here we can read about the license, the version of Blender, external dependencies, usage, and very importantly, the name of the Python script, space underscore view3d underscore align underscore tools dot py. We'll need to remember that name. Going back to the add-on install, to install Align Tools, click the little square checkbox at the upper right hand corner. Then go to the bottom of the display and click Install Add-on. You now need to find space underscore view 3D underscore align underscore or tools dot py. The location depends on the operating system that you're on and how you install Blender. What you're looking for is the folder containing the add-ons. It's in add-ons, A-D-D-O-N-S is the folder. On my Windows system, it's at C, Users, Ira, App Data, Roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender, 2.53, Scripts, Add-ons. It's a hidden folder, by the way. Find the file and click Install Add-on. Typically, you also want to click Save as Default to permanently install this add-on. Align Tools is now installed on the Tools menu. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see the options. To show how it works, We'll add a cone, shift A, mesh, cone, and rotate it. Select the cube, then shift select the cone. Click the align location X button to align the X position of the cube to the X position of the cone. Then click the align rotation Y button to align the Y rotation of the cube to the Y rotation of the cone. I think you get the idea. Let's return to the user preferences. Click on enabled and you'll see that align tools is now listed as enabled. Click on mesh. There are add-on scripts to add 3D function surfaces, gears, gemstones, pipe joints, regular solids, and twisted tori. Click Import Export. You can export camera animations, DirectX and skeletal data, 
as well as import make human files, skeletons, raw mesh, and STL format files. If you want to learn how to create add-ons, looking at the add-ons that ship with Blender is a great place to start. Let's look at the source for Align Tools. Click the window type and change the window type to Text Editor. Click on New. From the Text menu, select Open. Open the Align Tools file, the same one we just installed. There's the code. If you're so inclined, study the code and you can write your own add-ons. I hope this gives you a good idea of how to run the add-on ship with Blender 2.53 Beta and how to add your own custom functionality to Blender. Happy blendering!